Saved. <laughs> Cockroach taint. What did I get? Bonafide rat ass. Welcome to another episode of Rapscallion's <laughs> Review. <laughs> so tonight we went to Timbers Barn Grill in Saginaw out on State Street. I think it's out on State Street. Right before yeah. Midland Road. We pulled in, parking lot seemed full. We almost left, but decided to go in and look anyway. And actually, there were a lot of tables. So. The parking lot looked full because obviously they're in the back conference room or something. So the restaurant's a lot bigger than it looks when you just sit in the, the main dining room. So what'd you get, Karen? Um, well, I had the tomato pesto alfredo. It was a pasta. It was a it had a penne. It normally comes with chicken, but I don't eat meat. So um, instead of getting the chicken, the waitress gave me a salad on the side for free. Um, it's kind of substitute. Um, the salad was kind of average. It tasted like something you would just get from, like, the grocery store and not anything better than what you could make at home, I guess. I wasn't a big fan of the dressing, but I really appreciated the gesture that she was willing to kind of, you know, I thought she substitute. said she was going to take $2 off. Did she? Well, the salad was $2, so instead of, like, clearing it with a manager, she just okay. gave me the salad instead. Um, the pasta, though, was really good. I really enjoyed it. I know you had a couple I did bites, try it. too. It <laughs> yeah, I'm, um, it came with some garlic bread on the side. It wasn't really much to be remembered. I think the whole meal was about $12. Uh, it was on their seasonal menu, so I think you have to go in the summer if you want to get that one. So, as for me, really, I didn't get anything too out of the ordinary. I got a pizza. Right. I heard their pizza's pretty good. That's what Usually it has say. been. We went there before years ago, and you could get a large pizza on a Sunday night for $6, which was an awesome deal. You get one topping, split between two people, perfect meal. But getting the small pizza now, it was almost $9 for just the cheese pizza. But being a small, you can add extra toppings for $0.50 cents a piece, which I did. Ended up getting barbecue chicken, ham, and pineapple. Kind of a Hawaiian with barbecue chicken on it as well. But really... The pizza wasn't that great at the end because the sauce was so runny, it was so thin, it made the crust really like soggy and it fell apart in my hands almost. So it was really not that good at the end of it. But at the start, it was awesome. So it tasted good, but just the, the too much barbecue sauce made it soggy, basically. The toppings pretty much overwhelmed the pizza itself and just kind of ruined it for me. It smelled good. <laughs> tasted good it was awesome the sauce was nice and hot like a barbecue sauce not hot spicy like hot sauce but real tangy barbecue so, so if good. you wanted soup instead of pizza I would stick with soup <laughs> well being that it was like 90 degrees out yesterday I kind of wanted something a little summery myself and so I went with the main lobster roll which was basically a you know lobster salad sandwich and it came with a side of fries. They gave me a choice of either waffle fries or steak fries, and I went with the steak fries. Steak fries, really good. I mean, I, I've had fries before where they cut them and they're big and chunky and they're not cooked all the way through, but fries were fantastic. They tasted good. The lobster salad was really good. I enjoyed the flavor of it. I kind of think where they've failed maybe a little bit was the bun. The bun was a little bit low quality. It kind of tasted too much like a hoagie bun. So as much as I liked the lobster salad, I was kind of disappointed. If they'd have upscaled the bun a little bit, I would have, I would have to say it would have been fantastic. So, but then thinking about it, you know, it was, it was 1095 for the lobster sandwich and, and it is a bar. I mean, I really like the way the place looks and feels. It, it had a big bar. It had a lot of TVs. I was very happy they were playing the hockey playoffs. But it's not too good. loud. A lot of bars are real loud, and it wasn't. No, in fact, a lot of restaurants are really loud, and it wasn't loud at all. That's a good point. And the, the walls are brick. The floor is brick. It's really nice. It's really comfortable. So I guess if I was buying bar food, 
It was high quality bar food, but if I'm looking for restaurant food, I would say it's pretty average. And on my meal, the only place where it seemed to come out average was the bun. Um, everything else was excellent. As I personally, I felt Timbers was a little too old timey for me. Really going there, I would kind of expect it to be almost old timey food, but they kind of tried to mash this like modern food with old time settings. Like they had a big deer on the wall, just this real the awkward moose. thing. The big moose on the <laughs> wall. One of the things like that. I just, I just, I don't like that kind of environment as a like a restaurant. I really wouldn't prefer to choose that over another place. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What do you think? I I liked it. I didn't think it was too bad. It's like a like a hunting cabin kind of place, but it was like a bar. I mean, the bar takes up about half the restaurant. It spans the whole restaurant. Um, I like it. Like I said, it wasn't too loud. That's important for me. We were all able to have conversation at the table. We could hear the waitress. She could hear us. So. Waitress was, was nice. really pleasant, really nice. The people who sat us were really nice. In mm-hmm. fact, it was almost like they fought to seat us kind of funny well she stopped and had a conversation (laughs) with you before too didn't she she did yes the owner came had a conversation with us too so which is always nice yeah so overall i guess if we were to go one to ten you know one being bad Mm ten being fantastic and knowing that it's a bar and you know medium priced food because about ten dollars a meal really is not not that expensive it's it's a medium average price so for that type of restaurant, from a scale of 1 to 10, what would you say? I'd say mine was an 8. The pasta was fantastic. I would definitely order it again. Um, but the garlic bread on the side and the salad were kind of average. So. And I, having tasted yours, if I went again, I would definitely have that pasta. That was good. i say for me, this time around, I would go pretty low. I'd say maybe a 6. But before, it has been better. I have enjoyed it more. So, based on past events and today, overall, thinking over the years, maybe an 8. But that's about as high I can give it. Well, like I mentioned, I'd like to give it a 9 or a 10. But because of the bun that the sandwich was on, I'm going to have to give it a 7. If they'd have had a higher quality bun, I would definitely be giving it a 9 or a 10. And I think that's the only place where it really failed. I personally like the environment. And for the price, it was good food. And obviously it's a popular place. There were yeah. a lot of people in and out coming and going, even on a Monday night, which is amazing because most restaurants are not busy on a Monday night and this place was. They had some good drink specials too. So for the price and then they have drink specials, which is important at a bar, it was, it was good. And the hockey game. <laughs> Gotta have the sports. I haven't been keeping up with hockey, so I don't know. Well, what would you say? They probably had seven TVs in there? No, more than that. (laughs) Each one playing something different so you didn't have one wall dominated by sports. Like, at one point I was watching America's Funniest Videos and then another, like, sitcom show while baseball and soccer were on opposite corners. And golf. Oh, really? I didn't see the golf. I guess I had my back. I was was too focused on the hockey. A huge variety of stuff to watch. I'm sure they could have changed channels if they wanted, but that helped. All right.